Hello guys, how are you? This is the paint review and the paint and weathering of the iCafir C2 from Revell on 172nd. I had the build of this kit filmed, but it was on the hard drive I lost and recovered, but I don't know how to retrieve it right now. So I thought I used this kit to test mission model paints. Um, I couldn't show you the way they just flow on the F-18 video. So I'm doing this one now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, okay? And um, I will be commenting every step along the way. Well, the primer, MMP002. Um, I applied it on a ratio of 30 drops of primer to six, seven paint the drops of um, thinner, okay? Um, in the ratio of three parts of primer, one part of uh, thinner, okay? Being three parts, 30 drops, okay? Then we mix it up uh, manually on a cup and apply it on a 18 to uh, 20 PSI. This is my Bard Sharp 186, by the way. And we apply it in light coats, okay? Right now I was just testing the primer. I'm going to do a black base, okay? But I just wanted to test the primer, apply it very softly and it went perfectly. More ahead you will see me using Tamiya masking tape to see if it peels off and it doesn't. So if it doesn't peel off, that's very good. That's perfect. And it's very soft. Uh, it covers very well. I really enjoy these primers. As you can see, it's going very well. It's, it's depositing on the surface very, very softly. And um, more and I, each application I do of these paints, I, I'm more and more confident. So I will increase a bit the pressure and make it, the paint a bit more thin. And as you can see right here, it doesn't peel off. So that's very good. And now MMP047 black to do a black base on uh, the kefir. See, they just go perfect. And here 
here are the paints I am going to use to paint this kefir, obviously in Israeli colors. And now, MMP051, light blue, with a drop of white, just to tone it down a bit. I opted to tone down all the colors because when I'm going, when I will be weathering this one, I will apply it a filter and that will unify all the paints and tone it up with the washes, okay? So the paints were almost spot on, but I chose to compensate for the scale factor and to paint a bit more uh, light. And as you can see here, I mean, I, I, doesn't, I don't even need to speak. The image speaks for itself. The way the paint is flowing, um, it started a bit roughly on the kit, but the start is always a bit different. And as you are going, you find that perfect uh, dilution spot. So I really enjoyed using um, these paints. And of course, um, yeah, advertising, but it's true. The Bar Shop 186 performed admirably. We are using MMP 070 Red Ohm Tan. Um, I used just a bit of a tone of white again to tone it down and we're going to paint the cream color. I opted to um, dilute a bit more of the paints here <clears throat> and to lower a bit the pressure to have just a bit more of control on the airbrush and on the paint process. And then to paint the green I used uh, blue tack, paint the green with no protection underneath the borders of the blue tack because I was going under uh, or on top of the green painting the brown um, freehand. So I just wanted a reference for the green and to help me to paint the brown.
now the green as you can see uh, I'm using blue tech with no paper to um, separate the brown areas because any spill uh, after this I just wanted the green to be it drawn and painted on the surface of the kit uh, as you can see here MMP004 green with a tone of uh, just white just turn it down again as I said and after the green is applied on the blue tack uh, I will remove the blue tack completely and I will go freehand with the brown MMP 130 red brown just a tip, a tip of white, just a bit of white as you can see and thinner and now we are going to paint um, the brown, the dark earth tone of the Israeli colors. Um, on this I was relaxed, just uh, having a bit of uh, relaxation and I found out that Israeli colors are not standard. I, I mean it's not an exact tone of brown, it's not an exact tone of green. Um, they just change from the colors that they had available into um, the same kind of tones. So it was uh, interesting to paint this one and to weather it. The decals were, well, not too many decals, but uh, they conformed very well. Um, they were relatively fun to apply. Uh, no problems whatsoever on its application. You just had to uh, have a bit of um, care and patience with it, like every decal application. After applying all these decals, um, I gave it again a clear coat to protect and moved uh, to a pin wash and a wash, a slug wash, okay? And 
now we're going to apply two kinds of uh, oil washes. In this case, we will use oil washes from uh, Modelarski Fiat, uh, called Modeler's World. The pigment is very thin. They are very thin. They can be applied as a filter also, which is what I'm going to do right here. And after it's dried, it dried with a uh, flat brush, just slightly moistened, as you can see here. I'm creating some streaks and that helped on creating some texture, some filter on the paintwork. And I really like these oil washes. They are very thin um, and probably you like oil washes more thick, but I prefer it more thin. As you can see, I'm applying underneath and it's almost dirt. It's brown and black mixed and I really like these washes. They are really awesome. And finally, a matte coat to seal all work and removed the Tamiya masking tape from the canopy, substituted the pylon, the antenna in front with a needle, with a metal one, a homemade one, in the best way I could. And it's done. I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Please stay safe, stay at home, um, be strong and everything will be all right, okay? Uh, keep modeling, guys, and always, always with a smile. We need to smile right now more than ever.